Welcome back to UMassAthletics.com, coverage of the fall football camp. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the most talked about groups on Coach Don Brown's team. It's the wide receivers, the arsenal that Liam Cohen's going to have to use in his redshirt senior season. Well, after all of the departures from last year's receiving core, people are wondering just who is going to be able to step up and take charge in the receiving core this year. All those guys last year, JJ, Sheed, and uh, Omar, really set the standard for us. But... um I think there was, uh, they were like the standouts last year, and uh, now we have a lot of like six guys that can contribute to uh, just making plays, and um, I think that's something that we lacked last year was depth. I think we'll be just fine, you know. I, th I think uh, it's a little bit of an upgrade from last year. You know, we got Vic, and we got Joe, we got Tally. We've got a lot of guys that can play, you know, and um, I think we'll be, we'll be just fine. Victor Cruz has been a guy that's kind of surprised. Um, we've always known he's had talent. Uh, he's turning that potential into performance, and I'm excited about that. It's a big thing to have on your back, but I think we're, we're up to the challenge. Our receiving core is, is playing hard, and they, they're in their playbooks, and they know, what, they know what's expected of them, and we'll, we'll be fine. Well, you go against them in practice every day. How, how would you say that that group is coming along? Um, I would say just basically because of inexperience, but uh, it's a long group of guys, and I think they're going to be pretty uh, unique this year. Um, we got a lot of no-name guys, but uh, once the season starts, uh, you'll see that there's a lot of playmakers in that group. Well, I think they're working extremely hard. Um, I talked about Victor, uh, Joe Sanford, Jeremy Horn. Jeremy had a very, very good scrimmage. Uh, Kimon Bailey, and I would say Julian Talley. Those five guys are probably the leaders in the clubhouse at this point. But I'm sure there'll be, uh, you know, other guys that will rise to the occasion. But if you're looking four or five guys deep, I'd say those are the four or five. You hear guys maybe on the radio or on television saying, well, the big question mark for UMass this year is the wide receivers because there's not a lot of experience. Do you, do you take that personally? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I, I think it motivates every, everybody. You know, what Jerry Rice used to say, before he used to run mountains, uh, he used to say uh, he used to read the uh, reporters and read negative comments, and that used to fuel his fire. So I, it fuels me a little bit. That's all right. Sleepers are uh, always fun to uh, fun to come out and just show what we can do. And uh, we all know what we're capable of. We're all good players. So um, if you want to sleep on us, then uh, I mean that's your fault. Wait till we make big plays on you, and then uh, see how much of a sleeper we are. This year's cast of receivers on UMass has fewer than 20 catches career combined coming into the 2008 season. So you can see why there is some concern as to who Liam Cohen's going to throw to. However, Coach Brown and company feel that as the season goes on, this has a chance to be one of the most productive units on the team as the experience grows. Check back throughout the week and the camp for more updates here from football. I'm Josh Maurer.